to you deserve it by april g as suggested by at king blitz in the parentheses man we are about to get into it this joint longer than that thing eight minutes and ten seconds she hit me up she uh asked she asked me if i was gonna react to this joint. i said i was gonna react to it i told her i was gonna react to it tomorrow morning she uh I saw the message yesterday. I told her I was going to react to it tomorrow morning. It's still morning right now. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I, I stuck to the word. I stuck to the word, man. We're about to get into it. Uh, April G, one of the realest, one of the most supportive, one of the wisest, one of the most intelligent, one of the craziest writers. One of the craziest writers, bro. Like, she, yo, her writing is crazy, man. Let's get it. Let's get it, man. Super crazy psychosis part in the bars. It's hotter than that thing, man. Yo, it's hotter than that thing. I'm finna turn the fan on. Shout out King Bliss. Shout out to King Bliss. Big ups to King, man. King, one of the one of the most fire rappers. Versatile. See what you're coming with. Is this by Rude J? Let me know. We're gonna let this ad cook, yo. We're gonna let this ad cook. Real talk. Seconds of this joint cook. Nothing like the classic chemistry equation. Copy over creamer times square root of Dolce de Luce is equal Dolce to de de Luce. Espanol. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, was that Spanish? I don't think that. Dolce is Spanish. Wait, yeah, I think I think they were speaking in Spanish. Let me know. It sounded like it. Dolce significa sweet in Espanol. Emotional type B right here. Recently, I did an interview with my brother. Yeah. We talked about a lot and shared thoughts with each other. Yeah. One thing we spoke about, he said, I want to hear that song, April. I wasn't going to do it. Was going to keep it under the table. And after a conversation I had with my father, I felt the urge to write. It may be improper, but at this point, father, I Father, proper, two-syllable rhyme, and father, proper. I felt the urge to write. It may be improper, but at this point, I don't care. I have to let it out. Yo, she but rapping, bro. She flowing, bro. Like, yeah, like she did say it was going to be a spoken word poetry type thing. But yeah, she she rapping. I'm hearing rapping. She flowing. She she riding that beat. Yeah, she yeah. This is smooth. I felt the urge. But yeah, to I mean, yeah, she she's a fire poet, bro. Like her spoken word is yeah, it's incredible. It may be improper, but at this point, I don't care. I have to let it out. Cause if I don't, it'll consume me. I know that without a doubt. Yeah, I let yeah. It's wise. It's it's wise to let things out. Don't. It's not sagacious to bottle things in. Cause if you if if you bottle things in, that's gonna that's good that's detrimental. That's that's it's not gonna be beneficial to you to hold it, to bottle things in. You're gonna yeah, you're gonna yeah, you, know, you don't wanna be snapping it. Yeah, you don't wanna like bro, nah. Yeah, you gotta you gotta let it out, you know what I'm saying? De definitely let it out for real. 
She's speaking facts. Don't care. I have to let it out. Yep. Cause if I don't, it'll consume me. I know that without a doubt. You see, this is my therapy along with prayer and music. I don't care how I say it. What uh in the word in the words of Twisted Insane, in the words of my man Twisted Insane, this music is my counseling session. Yeah, he said that on a song years ago. I think I think the song is called My Counseling Session by Twisted Insane. I don't care how I sell, write my gift and I must use it. It Yeah, you must use your gift. Everybody got a gift. Don't let nobody preclude you from living a fulfilled life. You feel me? Real talk. Don't care. I have to let it out. Cause if I don't, it'll consume don't. me. In the words of Gary V, regret is poison. You see, this is my therapy along with prayer and music. Yep. I don't care how I sound, write my gift and I must use it. Yep. It was June 2020 when I got the news. My CHF had advanced in one to five years. My life Man, Yeah, yeah, she, she, they, the doctor told her she had one to five years to live, bro. That, yeah. Yeah, that, that's the relate, uh, yeah, CHF, for the, to those of you who don't know what that acronym stands for, it stands for congestive heart failure, it's, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a that, that malady, that disease is, it, it ain't no, it ain't a joke, man, it's not a joke, my, one of my uh, relatives, man, my aunt, she has CHF, you know what I'm saying, yeah, bro, it's, bro, like, yeah, you, they, they, yeah, she, she got told, the same thing uh, that April got told, like, you know, like, yeah, bro, as far as the amount of years you got left and all that, yeah, it's, it's man, bro, it's crazy, it's crazy, I ain't even gonna lie. 2020, when I got the news, my CHF had advanced in one to five years, my life I lose, called my dad to tell him this is what rolled off his tongue, you want me to feel sorry for you, you deserve to die young, you chose a lifestyle not of God, don't ask for my help, you're a worthless toothless junkie. You did it to yourself. I call my stepmom next to let her know what's going on. It's a on. mixture of rapping and poetry. She she's mixing it up. Like this, right here is, is a is a is more like yeah, this 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 flow right here is a poetic. It's not a rapping, it's a poetic, it's a spoken when word when flow right here. I got the news. My CHF had advanced in one to five years. My life I lose. Call my dad to tell him this is what rolled off his tongue. You won't me to feel sorry for you. You deserve to die. That's Your crazy, bro. I hey, mean, he fixed his mouth to say those horrible things, bro. Like how can you how can you talk to your child like that? How can you talk to your daughter like that? Like that that like people like bro, that that stuff that stuff is disgusting, bro. Like how certain parents are, bro. Like they they be really bugging. Like I that's that's a fact. Like as that certain parents be bugging. Like I'm telling you, bro. Like they they don't know how to treat their children, bro. Like they they treat them like garbage, bro. Like that's not how you supposed to. You're not supposed to mistreat your children, bro. Like. Like you know what I mean? Verbal abuse and like, yeah, bro, like that's 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 crappy, bro. That's crappy. I ain't even gonna lie. It's it's traumatized it's traumatic. Me to feel sorry for you. You deserve to die young. You chose a lifestyle not of God. Don't ask And like Yeah, bro, her, she she said his father, like she said her father acts like she still is uh messing with drugs and all that. Like he still like he yeah. That's crazy, bro. Like April has been clean for over a decade, bro. She she hasn't touched drugs in a, in a long time, and he acts like she's still messing with drugs, bro. That's crazy. Like I don't know, bro. People, they, man, bro. I don't know, man. Like, like that's the past, bro. That's not the present. <laughs> Never base your self worth on the opinions of other people, on the judgments of other people. Never base your self worth on external, uh, on external. Never base your self worth on comments from from outside people, from outside forces, from outside entities. Self definition, man. And I'm not, I'm not saying be delusional, but self definition, man. You know what I mean? Don't let, 
other people's opinions define you. You feel me? In the words of Les Brown, never let, never allow someone else's opinion of you to the to. Uh, he said something like, "Never allow, don't let someone's opinion of you." Dick, uh, it's, it's, man, I forgot. I forgot the whole thing he said, but he said something like, "He said reality. Don't let it do something to your reality." He's, yeah, I forgot the whole thing. Yeah, Les Brown, one of the you best motivational speakers ever. I think he said, never allow someone else's opinion of you to control your reality or dictate or affect. It. So he said something, bro. Y'all got to let me know in the comments, man. You won't be them feel sorry for you. You deserve to die young. You chose a lifestyle not of God. Don't ask for my Your thoughts determine your reality. Your thoughts, bro. Like whatever whatever you internalize from other people, whatever you feed your mind, yo, whatever you put in your mind, bro, whatever you think that is gonna yo, that your thoughts become your reality, bro. So if you if you if you have an incapability mindset, you're not gonna be able to achieve. If you if you think that you cannot do something, then you're not gonna be able to do it. If you think that you can do something, then you will be able to achieve something. Uh, there, there's a quote by Ford: "The man who the man who thinks he can and the man who thinks he cannot are both right." It's, it's something like that, bro. <clears throat> you know what I mean? It, your thoughts determine your reality. So you gotta be careful. You gotta be wise about what you allow in your mind, what you allow penetrate, be impenetrable to BS information, BS opinions. Real talk, man. Out of God, don't ask for my help. You're a worthless super stuff. You did it to yourself. I called my stepmom next to let her know what's going on. She said, Well, I'll see Jesus one day, and then hung up the Yeah, I'm gonna let the rest of this play actually because this joint is too long. You. You deserve to die young. I don't want this reaction to be like an hour. Don't ask for my help. You're a worthless super stuff. You did it to yourself. I call my stepmom next to let her know what's going on. She said, well, I'll see Jesus one day and then hung up the phone. Crazy, bro. Claim to be Christians every Sunday there in school. Yo, hip hypocritical, man. Hypocritical. Yeah, I, I talked I talked about this in my gospel remix, man. This this the last time I pause. I'm gonna let the rest play for sure. I promise, man. But yeah, bro, I gotta talk about that, bro. Like certain religion is there. They're hypocritical. They're contradictory. They they're exclusivistic. They're tyrannical. They're dictatorial. They condemn you if you don't share the same. They 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 they're quick to condemn and point out other people's flaws and all that type of stuff. And they act like they're infallible. They act like. They're perfect. They act like they're flawless. Nobody's flawless. Nobody's imperfect. Nobody's perfect, bro. Nobody's perfect, man. People, they act like they act. They they they're sanctimonious, bro. They act like they 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 act like they're superior to other people, bro. They act. They have this arrogant mentality. This this arrogance mindset. This I'm better than you because I'm a Christian. I'm better than you because I'm a religionist because I follow a specific religion. Like it's crazy, bro. Like you not you you not superior to me because you a Christian, bro. Like that doesn't like your religion. It does. Yeah, people be bugging, man. Certain people that follow religions are bugging, bro. Like I respect to the religionists who are respectful, who who don't force beliefs, who don't who don't force stuff on people. They yeah yeah. Salute to them, man. Salute to people like April. April is the is one of the realest, one of the coolest, one of the most. Like she, she's super dope. Like good energy, positive energy. Like she doesn't force stuff on people. You know what I mean? Like I, that's why I rock with April so heavy and so tough. You know what I'm saying? For real. Like she said, her stepmom claims that she's she 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 says she's a Christian and all that, but she's condemning people and all this type of stuff, bro. Like it's it's wild. It's toxic. Yeah, bro. Like she, she wasn't, she wasn't, she wasn't, uh, she wasn't sending April positive energy when April uh told her about the situation, man, about her her malady and her health uh problem and all that. Yeah, bro, you it's it's like, yeah, man, it's it's the harsh truth. You like 
it behooves us humans to not share everything with everybody, like not to share certain things with certain people. Uh, when we share certain things with certain people, certain people send negative energy and they 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 disparage, they they have something negative to say. Like it is as far as certain problems, certain certain just certain things, period. Not just problems, but certain things like your goals, your plans, like it, it, you can't share stuff like that with certain people because certain people are not trustworthy. They don't have your best interest. They 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 think they say they say they you can trust them, but you can't trust them. They're untrustworthy. They're perfidious. They they're treacherous. They're treasonous. They're traitorous. They they they're quick to divulge your information to the world, disclose your information shamelessly, bro. They're gossipers. They real gossipers, bro. They're real gossipers and and gossiping like that's corny, bro. And yeah, bro, that's why you, you you cannot share certain things with certain people because they're gonna have something negative to say. They're gonna have something crazy to say. They might, you know what I mean? They 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 be twisting what you said. They be distorting it. They twist up the fit. Yeah, I don't know, bro. It's it's wild, bro. It's wild. I ain't even gonna lie. I ain't even gonna lie, bro. Five years my life I lived. Called my dad to tell only me. only share only share with people only share with people that you trust for real, with people that won't disclose your information, with people that will for real keep your info confidential, man. That you know what I mean? For real. There's there's a lot of fugazi people, man. Including people that you're close to, including people, including people that are in your uh, friend group and your family. Like certain people, you can't trust. Certain people just can't be trusted, man. It's like and certain things you can't share with them, man, because they're gonna disclose. They're gonna run and tell the whole world, like, nah, bro, don't don't share stuff with them, bro. Don't share that. Don't share stuff like that with them. Bro. 2020, when I got the news, my CHF had advanced in one to five years. My life, I lose. Called my dad to tell him this is what wrote off his tongue. You want me to feel sorry for you? You deserve to die young. You chose a lifestyle, not of God. Don't ask for my help. You're a worthless, toothless junkie. You did it to yourself. I called my stepmom next. To let her know what's going on She said, well, I'll see Jesus one day And then hung up the phone They proclaim to be Christians Every Sunday they're in church People there don't really know them So you tell me which is worse Yes, I was a junkie Yes, my teeth are gross Yes, I have my struggles They need to take some notes Cause at least I own my shit I've admitted my wrongdoings Apologize more than I can count While they make light of the school shooting Everyone goes through stuff April, letting it go is what you need But it ain't that I can't let it go It won't let go of me Only people who've been in war Have PTSD and flashbacks You're just weak-minded You enjoy being under attack Sure, April, you have PTSD, post-traumatic sissy disorder. You just want to play victim, so they say we'll just ignore her. They never call or text to ask me how I am. Relatable. A perfect Christian Relatable. couple doesn't give a damn. My father thinks because he's helped me financially. Mm. That gives C him control. the right to mistreat me substantially. Mm. But he doesn't view it. And Love his it. treatment at all. He claims it's in the name of God as he points out my every flaw. He quotes the Bible out of context, saying it's God, not me. I know the Bible better than him. I just laugh at his hypocrisy. He believes men are superior and women are to obey. There are beasts for sissies, and all you gotta do is pray, which is another example of being a hypocrite. Cause he also says God won't listen to people like me. A misfit. I guess he skipped over the parts of the Bible that are clear about the kind of people God used to get others to hear. Thomas was a doubter. Lazarus was dead. Peter had a tantrum. Gideon had insecurities in his head. Sarah was impatient. Martha worried all the time. Jonah ran from God. Elijah thought about suicide. Noah was a drunk. Paul was a killer, Jacob was a cheater, and God was their healer. I guess you forgot those verses. How could 
convenient for you to be honest I hate writing this even though it's all true and if you ever hear it you'll say I am lying or you don't recall it so what's That's the like point in trying rehab told me to cut ties with you they said you're too toxic but I didn't do it instead I just tried to block it you lost your other two kids I'm the only one left alive but compassion ain't something you have you're too overtaken with pride you're my dad and I love you no matter what you do or say but it sucks you don't even know me I'm just another soul that is straight you have heart problems too so using your mentality did you call yours as well oh yeah that just applies to me I've strived my entire life to make you proud to be my father but nothing's ever good enough so why do I even bother it's weird cause you're the only one that can hurt me verbally no one else in the family can with their jabs and hyperbole I've been in therapy for years I still can't figure out why I allow your words to affect me to the point of wanting to die maybe it's because I was always daddy's little girl till I was 17 you were my entire world then our relationship changed cause I made some poor choices I'd rather you beat me than what you've done in my mind I hear y'all's voices when the people in your life that are supposed to love you unconditionally constantly put you down their words you start to believe when you were with my mom you gambled lies and cheated pulled a gun on her twice the shit room gets me heated she put me and my mother heated. in the car late he is a gun but he did angry yeah that's crazy bro that's crazy bro yo Hey, but she, she constantly put you down their words. You hey, but she, she pulling her heart, heart out of this. My mom, you gambled lies and cheated. Pulled a gun on her twice. The shit room gets me heated. She put me and my big brother in the car late at night to go searching for you. I remember every fight. We find you eventually in another woman's arms. You smooth talk her back. With your manipulative charms, you never yep. went to church or even spoke about God. And now that you changed, you still put on a facade. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad you changed your life. I'm glad you became the man you needed to be for your current wife. Y'all gave me my little brother. I'm so grateful for that. He was my best friend and the only support I had. I was there every step of the way for both his first and last breath. I know how much I hurt. I can't fathom y'all pain from his death. I know y'all are grieving. Our family seems so lost. I just wish y'all would accept me. Stop nailing me to the cross. Those with kids that hear this, please listen and make the right choice. Be careful what you say to your kids because one day it'll become their inner voice. And Dad, I still love you. Although you think I'm not worth shit, just remember when you face God, Whatever happens, you deserve it. You deserve it. Yeah, it is heartbreaking, man. Yeah, she 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 uh revealed more information, you know what I mean, about the uh strained relationship and all that. Like, yeah, I did not that's the first time hearing that's my first time hearing that he pulled out a gun on 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 on, on bro. That's crazy, bro. Like that I like Yeah, one of my relatives, he pulled out like my grandfather, he pulled out a gun on my on my uncle, you know what I'm saying? A long time ago. You know what I'm saying? Like, and my uncle, he 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 cut ties with, with my that that wasn't my grandfather's blood related son, uh, but yeah, bro. Yeah, he he would my um uh, yeah, bro. I'm not even yeah, bro. I'm not finna get in. I'm not finna get. I'm not finna get too much into that, bro. Like, but yeah, bro. He he stopped. He cut ties with him, bro. Like. Said, I don't want, I don't want to, I don't want, I don't want to deal with him anymore after he pulled out that gun, man. Like, yeah, that, that was crazy, bro. Well, not, not, he, he did not pull out a gun. He pulled out a, a knife, not a gun, a knife, a knife. I don't know why I said gun. He put out a, 
my grandfather, my blood related grandfather pulled out a, a knife on my blood related uncle like a long time ago. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy, man. Like, that's really crazy. You know what I mean? Yeah, bro. Yeah, that, man, bro. Yeah, this this joint was crazy. This, this The writing, the writing is crazy. Like, she came with the rhyming. She came with the substance. She came with the, uh, with the emotion. She came with the, yeah, bro. Like, man, bro. This, this is, this is a heartbreaking joint right here, bro. It's heartbreaking for real. Like, the generational trauma, the generational habits, the, the 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 mold the chains have to be broken the mold has to be broken i'm i'm not going to pass the trauma that was passed down to me bro i'm not going to i'm not going to pass it on to, to the next uh generation man i'm not going to pass it on to my to my seed bro i'm not bro like that's that's over with like yeah bro verbal abuse you know what i mean manipulation all that stuff bro like it's whack bro it's whack it's whack and you don't have to be around people. I learned I learned years ago that family is not limited to blood. The, the people closest to you be the first people to hurt you. Like it's it's sad, but it's the truth, man. Like you can't trust certain blood relatives. You just can't, man. They they the people that you suppose that's supposed to be there for you, they don't they don't give they don't they don't they don't have positive energy, bro. And it's like you gotta so you got to make the tough decision. You got to separate. You got to you. It depends. It depends on the severity of the toxicity. You you might have to cut them off all the way. You or limit just limit the interactions. Not talk to them as much. Like minimal contact. It, it it all depends, man. But you you know what's best for you, man. You know what's best for your peace and your happiness. Your peace is important. Your your peace has to be protected. Your happiness is important, man. Your real happiness. You know what I mean. And you don't have to be around people who mistreat you, who abuse you. It doesn't matter if it's a relative, a friend, a neighbor, a romantic partner. It doesn't matter. If you're getting abused, you don't have to stay in that poisonous environment. You just, you don't have to, bro. Like, you got to, you got to do what's best for you. If you don't cut the, if you don't excise the tumor, it, 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 it'll kill you. You feel me? So that's, that's metaphor bars. That's metaphorical bars right there. But yeah, bro, I'm about to get up out of here. Let me know what y'all thought, man. You know what I mean? Do y'all think she went crazy? Do y'all think what are y'all opinions, man? Be, uh, like in the words of her, be respectful but be real. You know what I'm saying? Be real but be respectful, man. Let me know what y'all think, man. I'm, uh, April, yeah. Keep. Don't ever stop doing what you love. Don't ever stop YouTube and don't ever stop writing. Don't ever stop uh, being positive. Don't don't let what other people do turn you into an evil person. You you one of the best people I met. You you realer than a lot of people I know. It. That I that I've known for dec for two decades for one decade for five years you know what I'm saying you really than a lot of people that I know for real and, and there's not too many solid and thoroughbred people like you keep keep doing what you do man I'm about to get up out of here man let's get her the 10k subs this month man we gotta get her there she should have been there I'm about to get up out of here man I appreciate and love y'all one love to the family of DTA elevation before no GT man self respect humans man all we we got to respect ourselves man that's what's important man you know what I mean. It, yo, people gonna say it's disrespectful, but it, it's it's not disrespectful to respect yourself, man. You, it doesn't mean you hate people. It doesn't mean you're nasty to people. You respect yourself, man. And what people think, if they think you're disrespectful, that's their problem, man. I'm gone.